last week against the Ravens. Come down to kickoff head to head, presented by Complete Comfort. All right, yep, it's time now for Head to Head. Each week we debate hot topics buzzing around town and the league. So let's welcome in our Colts insider, Kevin Bowen, who, who picked up his first win last week against Ken. I think that was questionable, East. I think that was very, very questionable. How you feeling, Kevin? <laughs> on top of the world, unlike Ken's fighting Illini after that second yeah. half yesterday. That, that was pretty oh, bad. Your Notre Dame fighting Irish got lucky last night, Kevin. Come on now. Hey, they call it though, Kevin. Never a doubt. Yep. Never a doubt. 60 minutes. A win's a, <laughs> win's a win, right? You'll take it. All right, here we go, fellas. Let's debate here. Here we go. Question number one. On a scale of one to ten, how relieved do you think Chris Ballard was by the performance of Matt Gay on Sunday after giving the largest free agent contract ever to a kicker this offseason? Kid, we'll let you start first. This is an easy one, AC. I'm giving this a ten. I think we were all shocked that Ballard spent all this big money on a kicker that comes from the West Coast here to Indianapolis and not really a, a household name yet, but he proved his worth last week kicking five year, five field goals over 50 yards and make Ballard's uh, decision to sign him like, look like a genius. Okay, so you say a 10. What about you? What do you say, Kevin? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if the rules allow for this, but how about a hundred? I mean, anytime you give a kicker that type of money, it, it, it's eye popping. People are going to be like, "Wait, you're spending that on a kicker, and you're not addressing some other areas that you would consider bigger positions of need." So, certainly, Matt Gay won you the game last week. Again, I think it's the greatest kicking day that we've seen in an NFL regular season game. So, you talk about relief for a guy that doesn't spend a lot of money in free agency. I'm going to give it a hundred. The relief mm. for uh, Chris Ballard with the Colts now two and one, finally in sole possession of the AFC South. Yeah, I, I agree with you, Kevin. That, that was a big, big, big move there, and it's looking pretty good so far. Uh, question number two, guys. The University of Utah looked good in Baltimore last week, right? You had Zach Moss, Julian Blackman, and Matt Gabe all had career games. Of the three, who do you think had the best day? Kev, you're up. If I'm going to call it the greatest kicking day in NFL history, it's got to be Matt Gay. And it's not just the four field goals from north of 50 yards. He did this outdoors. He mm -hmm. did it in a one-possession game. This wasn't a blowout. Yeah. And he did it all in the second half in overtime against the greatest kicker in NFL history on the other sideline in Justin Tucker. And if he misses one of those, you're a one-and-two football team coming back home. So, to me, this is a no-brainer. It is 1,000% Matt Gay. So you say Matt Gay. What, what about you? Who are you going with, Ken? Well, I know Kevin took the easy way out with Matt Gay. When you're, <laughs> when you're the highest paid kicker in the National Football League, or at least one of them, you should be able to make those kicks. You're signed to make those kicks. And look at Zach Moss. He had 122 yards last week, which is 25% of his yearly total in Buffalo, 480 mm. in one season. Zach Moss is going to make Ballard look like a genius again for not giving Taylor that big contract that he wanted. So when Taylor comes back, Zach Moss is still going to be that number one guy in the running backfield. So I think Zach Moss had a bigger week because of his future potential. Wow, that's a good debate there. All right, final question. Um, this week it was announced that the Brickyard will return to the Oval at IMS next <laughs> July like that. Uh, okay, if you're a team owner, which coach player would you put behind the wheel of your car? Ken, your turn. I'm going with Isaiah McKenzie, the punt returner, because you, you got to think that punt returners and NASCAR drivers are a little bit loose up there, just because <laughs> they don't want to run in the full, they don't want to run full speed into something hard. So I think those both those guys, the NASCAR drivers and a punt returner, are both a little bit loose upstairs. So I'm going with Isaiah McKenzie as a my, my driver. Okay, so you say McKenzie is your driver. Um, what about you, Kevin? Uh, who are you going with, man? Yeah, Ken better enjoy the warm-up laps. Isaiah McKenzie's too crazy to trust him out there for the entire race. I'm going with one of the most reliable Colts in Kenny Moore. And remember, very good friends with Pato Award. Hangs around the IndyCar circuit a lot. Is over at IMS during the month of May a good amount. So certainly has some knowledge there. Ken was right. You need the smaller guys to fit in that car. So Isaiah McKenzie fits that way. He's too crazy. I'm going with Kenny Moore because he loves the sport and he's one of the smartest Colts on this football team. Oh, that's good. All right. I, okay. I like those both suggestions there for you guys. Let's bring in the guy who's going to make the decision, our producer, Ross Bowling. Good morning to you, Ross. And um, guys, 
got your hands full this morning. Who are you going with, man? Yeah, AC, you're right about that. You guys agree completely on question one with me. I think it's a no-brainer. Chris Ballard has to feel relieved. This guy doesn't spend money on anybody, and the fact that Matt Gay delivered the, how he did last week. So question one, you guys are even. Question two, KB, quit taking the layup. I, mm. I, I like where Ken went with this because, from the standpoint that Zach Moss was a castaway in Buffalo. He was a throw-in in that Heinz trade. So I, I give Ken the edge it's on the question two. In NFL history. I understand that, <laughs> KB, but she took the layup. But in question three... I, I got to go with KB because Kenny Moore, guys, I don't know if Kevin knew this or not, but Kenny's a racing guy. I think he knows how to drive the car better. Uh, he's a big Aero McLaren guy. Um, so I'm going to go I'm gonna go Kevin Bowen. Wow, back-to-back -back wins just like the Colts. Are you kidding me? Kevin Bowen does it again. Oh, oh come on now. You, you, you guys think that Isaiah oh, McKenzie is kind of like that Ricky play. Bobby. Celebrate that. <laughs> You know, you got you to compare Isaiah McKenzie to Ricky Bobby. You know, he's just loose, fancy free, you know, going on the outside, just trying to win. That's all he's going to do. All right, Kevin, congratulations. Can't get over it. Uh, return <laughs> next week, try to rebound and get a win. Thank you, Kevin. Appreciate you, brother. All right, still more coverage coming your way live. You're on countdown to kick off. We're going to head back to Lucas Oil Stadium and check in with Andy.